हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 28th and 29th of january the session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first question is asia's largest event on civil aviation was held where recently the name of this asia's largest civil aviation event is wings india right wings india 2024 this is asia's largest civil aviation event now location is being asked to you is that where was it held it was held in hyderabad telangana right it was held where in hyderabad telangana correct in hyderabad telangana to where was this held this was held at begampet airport this begampet begampet airport is in hyderabad telangana it was from 18 to 21st of january we observed this wings india then there is a theme that you need to remember for this show that was connecting india to the world in amritkal setting the stage for india civil aviation 2047 right take a note of this then apart from this there were some major announcement during this wings india 2024 such first is release of the joint knowledge paper on civil aviation by fiki and kpmg second launch of udan 5.3 third fiki announced their fourth edition of wings india awards in the civil aviation sector and india's first indigenously designed and manufactured aircraft seat landed at the wings india 2020 so coming back important thing to remember udan 5.3 was launched during wings india 2024 and fiki announced their fourth edition of the wings india awards in the aviation sector so these are some of the important things that you need to remember for the same next next is pm narendra modi inaugurated projects worth over 19100 crore rupees in bulandshahar up right i repeat this bulandshahar district in is in the western up and for various sectors such as your rail road oil and gas for urban development housing development multiple projects were recently announced and these projects were a total of 19000 crore rupees here you will be seeing a 173 km long double line electrified section was launched apart from this a rail line connecting mathura and palwal section was also launched right then next thing remember integrated industrial township at greater noida was also launched i repeat and integrated industrial township at greno that is also known as greater noida was recently launched correct 
mark this also and this particular industrial township in greater noida will be built at a cost of 1100 uh, 1714 crore rupees and it will be built on 747 acres of land right then apart from this pm narendra modi he renovated the mathura sewage scheme mathura sewage scheme was also recently renovated and in clean this particular mathura sewage scheme treatment plant worth 460 crore rupees will be built here correct i repeat in mathura a mathura sewage scheme has been renovated and under this new sewage treatment plants worth 460 crore rupees will be built moving on next is ministry of rural development and lady arvin college in delhi has renewed and signed an mou for roshni cwcsa for how many years i repeat ministry of rural development and lady arvin college of delhi they have renewed and signed an mou for this roshni cwcsa what is this cwcsa that is center of women collectives led social action so for this they have signed an mou or renewed this mou for how many years for five years this mou has been renewed and the aim of this under roshni roshni center of women collectives led social action the main aim of this is to enhance the result of the food nutrition health for the rural communities right in order to enhance this food nutrition health for rural communities this mou has been extended and renewed for how many years for five years right this wash term is also there wash is your water sanitation and hygiene correct and day nrlm this day nrlm is your basically is a flagship event or scheme that was launched in 2011 and the main aim here is to poverty elevation right to in order to elevate the people who are in poverty to provide them with job opportunities so that they can come out of poverty correct then this roshni cwcsa this is supported and funded financially by unicef this question can also be asked that roshni cwcsa it is financially supported by which organization it is supported by unicef correct and under this roshni we are seeing that roshni is helping day nrlm scheme so that poverty uh, restriction people poverty strict people can come out of poverty right they are helping various self-help groups and under self-help groups we will be seeing 9.96 crore individuals who are benefited under this particular scheme right then under this only we will be seeing multiple individuals will be trained so that they can become skill ready job ready and whenever the opportunity comes they can apply for the say right so ministry of rural development and lady urban college of delhi this have renewed their mou for five years for this roshni cw csa scheme that is financially supported by unicef next 54th annual meeting of world economic forum was held where so 54th edition of world economic for uh, world economic forum was held where it was held in davos where is davos davos is in switzerland right this was from 15 to 19th of january and it was on a theme that you need to remember the theme of this 54th annual meeting of world economic forum also known as the davos summit right so the theme here is rebuilding trust re building trust this is the theme for Davos summit. What is the location in Davos? Also, where was this held? It was at the Swiss Alpine School. Swiss Alpine School. Right? Then apart from this here, remember, India, in partnership with World Economic Forum, they have launched a global good alliance for gender equity and equality. It is to bring the world's best practices, knowledge sharing, investment in the areas of women health education and enterprise so this global good alliance for gender equity and equality was launched by india in partnership with world economic forum then smriti anani announced the establishment of b20 global institute that is business 20 global institute apart from this during the discussion titled 
preparing for disease x at world economic forum 2024 health industry leaders has discussed the importance of preparing and planning for the outbreak of a hypothetical disease x say for example we witnessed covid 19 right and everything was disrupted we were not prepared for the scenario so similarly in future whenever a disease comes we have named it disease x it can be any hypothetical disease that will be having the same impact or even bigger impact than what covid 19 did to our economy so in order to prepare for that in advance here the uh, leaders have discussed during this during this world economic forum meeting then if we talk about world economic forum who is the founder and executive chairman professor klaus schwab managing director sadia zahidi headquarters in geneva switzerland and when was it established in 1971 next next we are talking about banking and finance canera hsbc life insurance they have launched I select guaranteed future plus. I repeat, Canara HSBC Life Insurance Company Limited launched I select guaranteed future plus that is a non-linked, non-participating individual saving life insurance plan. The policy offers four different plans namely endowment option, regular income option, early income option and long term income with returns of premium option. Right here you will be seeing if we talk about the plan, it offers regular income early income option long term income option right with return of premium option also apart from this the minimum entry age is zero that is no entry minimum entry age maximum entry age is of 65 years of age minimum maturity is for 18 years and maximum maturity here will be of 99 years right next next if we talk about canara hsbc life insurance company who is the managing director and chief executive officer here anuj Mathur, where is the headquarter? It is in Gurugram, Haryana, and it was established in 2008. Next is SEBI. They have extended the deadline for listed entities to verify the market rumors. Right? I repeat, recently, SEBI, they extended the timeline for market rumor verification for the second time. The deadline were extended to June 1st, 2024 from February 1, 2024 for the top 100 companies and December 31st, 2024 from 1st of August from the top 250 companies. It earlier, as I said, it was supposed to be effective from 1st of October 2023 from for the top 100 firms and from 1st of April 2024 for the top 250 firm. But this has been now extended. Correct. Now the deadline is 1st of June 2024, right? Earlier it was, see, for top 100, no? Just to give you a clarity, earlier it was 1st of October 2023, then it was extended till 1st of Feb, and now again it has been extended to 1st of June, right? This is the extended deadline for listed entities to verify market rumors for the top 100 companies, right? Then as per SEBI, top 100 and top 250 listed entities by market capitalization, they must promptly confirm, deny or clarify any specific material event reported into the media because we know and this report has to be submitted within 24 hours of the information being disclosed, right? There is a rumor in the market, right? It has to be verified by that particular organization within 24 hours because when there is a rumor in the market, we have seen in the past many years that because of that rumor, the markets either they take a new high or they start uh, gaining or if it is a bad news, then the market collapses, right? There is a huge downfall in the market of that particular stock. So this is basically sometimes even done by the various organizations also deliberately that there is a rumor in the market on the basis of that rumor, multiple individuals starts buying and selling stocks. So to avoid that, this step has been taken by the SEBI. Next. Here you can see initially it was supposed to be effective from 1st of October for top 10 firms from 1st of April for top 2 250 firms. This was extended to February and August respectively and again extended to here we saw. Now the date is for top 100 is June 1st. 2024 right next next is which organization recently got approval from to operate as an online payment aggregator from sebi to operate as an online aggregator from rbi not sebi from rbi right so which organization recently got approval from rbi to opt uh, to operate as an 
ऑनलाइन पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर ऑनलाइन पेमेंट और वेक्सीन से दिस पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर व्हाट आर द पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर्स बेसिकली पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर्स आर दोस्ट दे कैन कलेक्ट मनी राइट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पेटीएम राइट पेटीएम इज एन पेटीएम पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर बिकॉज वी हैव सीन दैट एट मल्टीपल वेंडर्स अक्रॉस इंडिया दैट ईट इंडिविजुअल शॉप और शॉप ऑनर्स राइट दे आर हैविंग अ बार कोड थ्रू विच वी डू पेमेंट्स एंड दे कलेक्ट मनी राइट for insurances also for various, various other services also right similarly recently zomato was also granted by rbi as payment online payment aggregate right now they can collect money right as now they have been granted the license to work as an online payment aggregator and this will be with effect from 24th of january 2024 now the question will be asked to use recently which food delivery platform or which platform recently got a certificate or approval from rbi to act as an online payment aggregator it is zomato right take a note of this next thing one more remember this is zomato right apart from this a california usa based a financial infrastructure provider stripe incorporation they also received the rbi's approval to act as an online payment aggregator from 15th of january 2024 so stripe also recently got the approval to act as a online payment aggregator right they basically collects money right they receive money on the behalf of various organizations here you can see zomato payment gets note from rbi notes means approval from rbi to operate as an online payment aggregator next who has been honored with freedom of the city of london award so remember recently indian lawyer ajit mishra he has been honored with the freedom of the city of london award correct i repeat freedom of the city of london award and this was for his contribution to strengthen the business partnership between london and india right for this he was honored with freedom of the city of london award correct and he was awarded with this in london only mark this if we talk about ajit mishra he is the founder and the chair of uk india legal partnership correct and he is a qualified as a solicitor in england and wales and also an advocate in india next he here you can see indian lawyer ajit mishra next which indian cricketer was appointed as brand ambassador of varni varni this is a premium electronic product brand this is a electronic product brand and who has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador of varni so ravindra jadeja right he has been appointed as the brand ambassador of varni that is a premium electronic product brand correct then varni was founded in 2009 right and now ravindra jadeja has been appointed as the brand ambassador of it next next is science and tech indian navy has tested the extended range version of the brahmos missile right recently indian navy they recently tested fired the brahmos extended range missile it was on 24th of january that this was tested the test was in line with atmanirbhar bharat initiative of the government of india and remember this brahmos missile it was a joint venture between india and russia and philippines became the first company to procure brahmos missiles from india correct next thing remember brahmos missile for the first time it was tested in 2000 one and now the extended range version of the brahmos missile was tested as you can see here was tested by indian navy who is the chief of naval staff of indian navy admiral r hari kumar next one more thing remember if we talk as it is a extended range version the range of this brahmos missile has been earlier to be around 290 kilometers and now it has been extended from 290 to almost 500 kilometers next next is related to sports brisbane heat cricket team has won the australia's big bash league for 23 24 title i repeat brisbane heat this is the name of the cricket team and they have won the australia's big bash league that is bbl similar to that of an ipl in india 
correct and it is for 23 24 title they defeated sydney sixers in the finals that was held at the sydney cricket ground in sydney australia right and the 13th edition of this bbl was witnessed and this is brisbane heat cricket team that has won this australia's big bash league and this was the 13th edition of this big bash league that was of australia next next is at least top goal scorer Luigi Gigi Riva recently passed away as you can see him in the picture Luigi Riva recently passed away at the age of 979 in Sardinia Italy correct next books and authors Amit Shah recently launched a book that was titled A Promised Nation Honorable Shri Narendra Modi the maker of new india in braille script braille script is for the blind people right who have visual disability for them this braille script is written and this book was launched by amit shah correct and it is a book that is titled a promised nation honorable shri narendra modi the maker of new india mark this question this becomes important the question can be asked what is the name of the book that was launched in a braille script right and it was launched by amit shah so this is the name of the book that you need to remember correct and it is written in braille script that is important next next is important days international customs day observed on 26th of january and it is to recognize the role of custom officials and agencies in maintaining border security and flow of goods across borders so this is your international customs day observed on 24th of or uh, 26th of january next next is international day of the commemoration in the memory of victims of the holocaust observed on 27th of january correct international holocaust remembrance day observed across the globe on 27th of january to pay tribute to the memory of the victims of holocaust also known as shaw right so it is observed on 27th of january right so friends these were your important day now let's move to one liner revisions we saw wings india 24 held where in hyderabad telangana and it is the asia's largest civil aviation event then pm narendra modi inaugurated projects worth 19100 crore rupees in bulandshahar up then ministry of rural development and lady urban college of delhi renewed a five year mou for roshni then davos 2024 that is the 54th annual meeting of the world economic forum or davos summit where was this held in davos switzerland canara hsbc life insurance they have launched i select guaranteed future plus plan sebi they extended the deadline for listed entities to verify the market rumors and they need to verify that within 24 hours of it so that market manipulation does not happen then zomato zomato payment they got the approval from rbi to operate as an online payment aggregator indian lawyer ajit mishra has been honored with the freedom of the city of london award next indian cricketer ravindra jadeja has been appointed as the brand ambassador of varni indian navy tested the extended range version of the brahmos missile then brisbane heat cricket team they have won australia's big bash league for 23 24 title then italy top the italy's top scorer luigi recently passed away then amit shah and this is important amit shah launched a book in braille script and the name of the book is a promised nation honorable shri narendra modi the maker of new india this is the name of the book then international customs day on 26th of january international day of commemoration in the memory of the victims of holocaust observed on 27th of january so these are your important current affairs for the day friends do like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run and also friends do share the link of this video with your friends relatives cousins neighbors and let them know about this interesting platform affairs cloud where we'll do current affairs on daily basis right and daily you are updated with the best of the knowledge now let's move to the revision part friends that will be beneficial for your learning next which of the following portal or foundation have recently signed a tripartite mou with national farmers welfare program implementation society to accelerate artificial intelligence driven transformation in the agriculture sector which are those institutions that is india ai and vadwani foundation they both recently signed an mou along with whom along with nfw pis so that the use of artificial intelligence machine learning iot devices sensor based learning right then use of drones in the agriculture for spraying purpose can be enhanced and we can make our agriculture sector more advanced and more output can be generated from it 
नेक्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी रिलीज सिक्स स्पेशल कमेमोरेटिव पोस्टेड स्टैम्प डेडिकेटेड टू द श्री राम जन्मभूमि टेम्पल इन डैश सो वेर इज दिस श्री राम जन्मभूमि टेम्पल लोकेटेड इन डायरेक्टली दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इट इज इन अयोध्या एंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी रिलीज द स्पेशल कमेमोरेटिव स्टैम्प फॉर द सेम एंड ऑन दिस कमेमोरेटिव कलेक्शन इट कंप्राइजेज ऑफ सिक्स डिफरेंट स्टैम्प्स राइट मार्क दिस ऑल्सो सो सिक्स डिफरेंट स्टैम्प्स वर लॉन्च नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेटिस्टिक्स पब्लिश बाय फ्यूचर इंडस्ट्रीज एसोसिएशन इन जनवरी नेशनल स्टॉक और एक्सचेंज नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड एमर्ज एज द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट डेरिवेटिव एक्सचेंज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ट्रेडेड फॉर द फिफ्थ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर राइट सो फॉर द फिफ्थ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर एन एस सी हैज एमर्ज एज द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट डेरीवेटिव एक्सचेंज इन द टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ट्रेडेड एंड इट इज फॉर द फिफ्थ कॉन्जिक्यूटिव टाइम राइट नेक्स्ट विच बैंक्स और विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंटली इन्वेस्टेड फोर एटी सिक्स करोड़ रुपीज इन सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ट्रस्ट फॉर इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट मेरिडियन राइट फॉर इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट मेरिडियन दिस प्रोजेक्ट रिसेंटली विच बैंक और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड और दे इन्वेस्टेड फोर एटी सिक्स करोड़ रुपीज इन दिस सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ट्रस्ट बॉन्ड्स राइट विच इज दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और विच इज दैट बैंक इट इज एशिया इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक दे इन्वेस्टेड दिस अमाउंट नेक्स्ट आर बी आईज इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी इंडेक्स हैज नाउ नाउ कास्ट इंडिया जी डी पी ग्रोथ रेट एट सेवन परसेंट फॉर द थर्ड क्वार्टर ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज फ्रॉम अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टिल दिसंबर ट्वेंटी right option option 1 next government of india they formed a high level committee under the chairmanship of dash to examine administrative measures aimed at protecting the interest of the most disadvantaged groups within scheduled caste like madigas so recently rajiv gobba right government of india they formed a high level committee and this committee was under the chairmanship of rajiv gobba and this committee will examine the measures for protecting the rights of the disadvantaged groups within the schedule castes next spacex rocket that is falcon 9 they launched axiom space axiom mission 3 that is ax3 and this axiom mission they carried turkey's first astronaut alper to the international space station so falcon 9 rocket was used to launch ax3 mission that is axiom space mission 3 and it was carrying first astronaut this astronaut of was of turkey and it was carried into international space station next dash became the second indian man to win gold at the asian marathon championship man singh right he became second indian to win gold at the first asian marathon championship correct who was the first indian man gopi thunakul was the first indian to win asian marathon championship in 2017 next name the company that recently awarded with the southern regions naraka's official language award for 22 23 it is bdl bharat dynamics limited was recently awarded with the southern range naraka's official language award for 22 23 next which country has recently elected as the first vice chair of the SCM of food and agriculture organization of UN committee on fisheries so which country is it it is india has been elected as the first vice chair of the sub committee on fisheries management of the FAO of UN committee on fisheries it is india and here india has been elected here for a term of 2 years correct then indian delegation was led here by j balaji mark this also next which states kachai kharek has recently got the gi tag from the gi registry it is gujarat this product kachai kharek it is from gujarat and it is a dates khajur in hindi right next which iit which iim which indian institute of management recently collaborated with the strategy 
perspective planning and monitoring committee of the icai to develop icai vision 2049 so indirectly we can say this icai vision 2049 this was developed by which organization so it was developed by iim ahmedabad correct and they collaborated with this strategic perspective planning and monitoring committee of icai to develop this icai vision 2047 here ici they aims to become a global recognized leader in this field of accountancy next during the visit of union minister of external affairs dr s j shankar to iran in january persian that is farsi became the dash classical language of india remember farsi became the ninth classical language of india next classical languages are in the eighth schedule also mark this also Next in January Dash became the first Indian bank to execute an export finance transaction on the international trade financing service platform of RXIL Global IFSC Limited it is Yes Bank right it became the first Indian bank to execute an export finance transaction on the ITFS of RXIL Global IFSC Limited next In January, chairperson of SEBI Madhabi Puri Bug has launched two unique multilingual initiatives that are named Multilingual CAS and Buddy Sahayta 2047 Chatbot for Dash organization. Right? It was for whom? This was for. Tell me the name. Central Depository India Service Limited. Right? Launched by Madhabi Puri Bug. Correct. and these initiative will basically aim to promote the ease of doing business among investors here report in this multilingual ces consolidated statement will provided in multiple languages and under this buddy sahita 247 chatbot it is a chatbot that will be solving your problems it will be a basically a ai customer based right you will be help with various services and platforms with customer services next name the new individual saving deferred annuity plan that has recently launched by the lic which is it what is the name of that plan that was launched by lic deferred annuity pension plan the name here is jeevan dhara 2 plan 872 this was launched and this plan will be available for sale from 22nd of january 2024 नेक्स्ट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया द्रौपदी मुर्मू मैम कन्फर्ड विद द प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रीय बाल पुरस्कार 2024 टू हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन सो अ टोटल ऑफ 19 चिल्ड्रन वर अवॉर्डेड और कन्फर्ड विद प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रीय बाल पुरस्कार 2024 फ्रॉम दीज 19 नाइन बॉयज एंड 10 गर्ल्स वर अवॉर्डेड नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ शस्त्र सीमा बन दलजीत सिंह चौधरी has been appointed as the director general of shastra seema bal correct and he will succeed whom rashmi shukla next japan's aerospace exploration agency that is jaxa they successfully landed the smart lander for investigating moon that is slim on the lunar surface with this japan became the fifth nation to soft land on the surface of moon right and jaxa is the space agency of japan similar india isro is the space agency of india so fifth next which country has recently launched shorya satellite using a three stage solid fuel qam 100 satellite carrier so this was launched by whom it was launched by iran a shorya satellite right shorya satellite it is a satellite launched by iran correct next Lockton announced its entry into the Indian market with the appointment of Dash as the CEO of India and a member of Lockton Asia leadership team. So, who has been appointed as the CEO of India and member of Lockton Asia leadership team? He will be Sandeep Dadia. Correct. With this, Lockton has announced their entry into India. Correct. And this Lockton basically, what is it? It is a independent insurance brokerage firm. next who has recently been appointed as the ceo and whole time director of jindal stainless steel tarun khulbe has been appointed as the ceo and whole time director of jindal stainless steel limited next is our homework section first 
फाइनेंसेज ऑफ पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन रिपोर्ट रिसेंटली सीन इन न्यूज वॉज रिलीज बाय विच इंस्टीट्यूशन सेकेंड वेयर वॉज द फोर्टी फोर्थ ऑल इंडिया क्रिमिनोलॉजी कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ द नेशनल फॉरेंसिक साइंस यूनिवर्सिटी हेल्ड थर्ड रिसेंटली इंडिया सरपास्ड विच कंट्री टू बिकम द फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट इक्विटी मार्केट ग्लोबली फोर्थ बी एस एफ बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी फोर्स कम्स अंडर विच मिनिस्ट्री एंड फिफ्थ जॉम्बी वायरस रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज रिलेटेड टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन and i need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video right do comment below the answers i do regularly check all the videos in the comment section that who all are commenting and i know the students who are regularly there but don't lose hope right friends i know this is a long process for getting a government job and now you are seeing the vacancies are also coming up for various exams so stay tuned with us do make sure you are doing the hard work do the necessary hard work because there is a huge competition there is so many individuals you will be seeing who are applying for the various exams but make sure that if you are doing the hard work it is the right step for you and no one can beat the hard work right that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue 